Hello, and welcome to the ProjectWise Administrator Advanced Accreditation Course on Managed Workspaces. This lesson is working with multiple products. This lesson will briefly discuss issues that will be encountered when working with multiple products. The learning objectives of this lesson are to explain the main issues that will be encountered when combining multiple products. There are two basic approaches to combining the products. One is to create multiple workspaces. The other is a concept called one configuration. When working with multiple products, you need to be able to separate the portions of the workspaces in some manner. The traditional manner has been to utilize the engine name variable to do this. However, each of the products has different workspace configurations and folder structure. There are also issues where if you use the out of the box workspaces, each of the workspaces has different names. So you need to consider the branding of the workspace and the work set on the files as well. One solution we've come up with is something called one configuration, which we will explain in just a few minutes. So let's look at a few of the issues here. I call this musical chair, not musical chairs, but musical chair. The reason is because we have microstation configuration and it's out of the box configuration puts things in the standards folder. The open buildings configuration puts things in the standards folder. The open roads configuration puts resources in the standards folder. Everyone is trying to sit in the same chair. So there are two basic solutions to this. One is simply utilize multiple workspaces and separate by engine name which workspace loads, or even which configuration loads. This is by far the simplest to implement. It does require the use of engine name as a filter. Also, it does require duplicate copies of common resources in each of the configurations. And even when you get to the work set, you would need to separate out the individual workspace components by engine name. This is not ideal. Option two is called one configuration. With this, we take and create individual folders underneath the workspace standards and group them by product groups. For example, microstation, building, and civil. In doing so, you provide a chair for each product group. So product groups would be things like building, civil, plant, and structural. Special variables have been created by each product, which are established in the launching of the product. These are USTN one product group name and USTN product one subgroup name. The subgroup name represents the individual product. With this, additional syntax has been added to the MS config file to accommodate these variables. The text highlighted in green is the US10 product one group name. The text highlighted in blue is the product one subgroup name. This is the example text from the workspace portion of the configuration. Note there are include statements which go along with these groupings. Similar syntax is also included for the organization and work set levels. However, this problem is not totally solved. Each of the products has inconsistent locations for the same portions of the configuration. This is evident in the pro structures portions where that is shared across the bridge products, the building products, the plant products, and pro structures itself. One of the goals of one configuration is to make this more consistent. This slide indicates a proposal of how things could be organized more consistently by creating 
a standard location under configuration sets and creating standard variables across the products. In conclusion, regarding one configuration, Phase one of one configuration is actually complete. This started in the update 15 based power products. And this involved additional include statements in the MS config file using the product group and subgroup names. In update 17, each power product hard coded the product group and subgroup variables so that these no longer needed to be created by an engine name mapping. Phase two is still in progress. When this is complete, it should entail a more consistent folder structure, more consistent variables, and a more consistent loading of the product as far as the timing of when standards get loaded and things like that. It should also entail an improved configuration interface. This, however, is still in an exploratory state. As a result of that, this is not covered in this lesson. However, one configuration can be implemented today, but the configuration is considered a custom configuration. Bentley can assist with implementing one configuration if needed. As a side note, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has been a leading implementer of one configuration. And if you have access to this configuration, you can review it to see an example of the implementation. So in this brief lesson, you learned about working with multiple products and the issues that may be encountered in doing so. There are two approaches to solving this. One is with multiple workspaces. And the second is with one configuration. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.